A few years ago, I struggled to sell my films, but I made one change and my career skyrocketed. I went from unknown to selling films to Netflix. In this video, I'm gonna show you what that change was and how you can use it too. And all you need is to tell a story. A well-written documentary script is the backbone of any great documentary film. And without a strong script, the story can feel disjointed, confusing, or even boring. A well-written script helps to ensure that the documentary has a clear message or theme and a narrative structure that engages the audience and keeps them interested in the story. It's crucial for creating a successful documentary because this allows you to create a story that speaks directly to the audience's interests and needs. Understanding your audience also means understanding their values, beliefs, and attitudes, which can help you create a documentary that connects with your audience on a deeper level and has a greater impact in the end. One of the most important elements of a successful documentary is interesting and relatable characters. These can be real people, animals, or even objects. Characters should be compelling and must drive the story forward, making the audience invested in their journey. Conflict is also crucial. Every good story needs conflict, and documentaries are no exception. Conflict can come in many forms. Conflict should help to move the story forward. And then you have setting. The setting of the documentary is the environment where the documentary takes place. It can be a physical location such as a city or a remote wilderness location or a broader societal or cultural context. The setting should be described in detail to get a sense of immersion for the audience. First day of shooting in Madeira. Time to run up a mountain. Then you have the narrative arc that takes the audience on a journey from the beginning to the end. Packing day. <sighs> Love those days, right? They suck. We're here to start shooting a YouTube channel. This includes an introduction to the story, a buildup of tension and conflict, a climax and a resolution. Oh man, some parts. Oh, very steep. It's very high. <sighs> Documentaries that evoke emotions are often the most memorable. Now, maybe the most important part of developing a documentary, it comes down to research. You need to understand that research is what builds the foundation of your film. Thorough research ensures that the information presented in the film is accurate and factually correct, which is essential for building credibility with the audience. And then the perspective as well. Like researching your subject matter can help you develop a deeper understanding of your topic or issue at the heart of your documentary, which can help guide you in the direction of the film and make it more compelling. It also affects how you tell the story. And this brings us to storytelling. Research can provide a wealth of information and inspiration for developing the narrative of your documentary. It can help you identify the key themes, events, characters that will drive the story forward. But then you also have access. By conducting thorough research, you may be able to secure access to places, people or information that's critical to the success of your documentary. For example, researching a particular community or subculture can help you build relationships and gain trust of the potential interviewees. And then Ethics is another thing that's important. Documentaries often deal with sensitive subjects or controversial subjects. Thorough research can help you navigate these issues and ensure that your film treats all parties involved with respect and sensitivity. If you want more on ethics, check out this video. So here are some of my best tips on how to conduct effective research when making a documentary. 
Start with secondary sources. Books, articles, documentaries related on your subject matter. You can be provided by a solid foundation of knowledge by just looking into these resources. And then conduct interviews. Interviews are great to gather primary sources of information from people who have first-hand experiences in your subject matter. Prepare a list of questions ahead of time and ensure that you have a consent from the interviewee to use their footage in your documentary. And make sure it looks good because otherwise you regret it because you're gonna want to use it in the end in the film, even if it's just research. Reach out to experts and research them if they're the right person for your film. Engage with the primary sources, such as government documents, archives, and other sources of information related to your subject matter. These sources can provide you data and statistics to support your documentary. And then visit the locations related to your subject matter that can provide you with an understanding of the physical environment which the events took place or will take place. The story, you gotta live it. This can help you tell a more compelling story and bring greater depth to your documentary. Organizing and analyzing your research is crucial before it's too late. <laughs> Creating an effective story structure for your documentary is great to do early on. When you create the outline for your documentary, it should include an introduction to the story, a rising tension and a conflict, and a climax and a resolution. This is the basics. It will help to ensure that your story is cohesive and well-structured. But go beyond that. Think what you can do to make it unique. You need to rewrite until you find something that you feel is working. Because making this outline clear and gripping to the audience, it's what's gonna sell your film. It's what's gonna make people care about it. Your audience, funders, everybody. It comes down to how good is your ID, like how solid is it. Consider your audience as well, because it's important. Like what will be the most interesting or compelling to them? How can you make your story accessible and engaging? It's crucial. So do you struggle to make your film? I know that feeling too well, but I got your back. In six weeks, I'll teach you the industry secrets that took me over 20 years to learn. And trust me, I'm not talking about how to make a mean cup of coffee on set. I'm talking about the real stuff. How to refine a story and pitch it to major platforms. Go to learndocumentary.com to learn how I can help you make a great film. But don't wait around, because this is only available to a select few around the world. Organize your thoughts and identify key themes and events that will drive the narrative for your film. Identify patterns, look for reoccurring themes in your research. These can help you identify the overarching message of your documentary and guide the development of your storyline. Group similar information together so that they can create segments or chapters within your documentary. This will help you to organize the material in a logical and coherent way. You need to identify the people who will be featured in your documentary and develop their storylines. This may involve conducting further interviews or gathering additional information about the characters. But you need to find a way that they change in your documentary, because that's what storytelling is all about. And then look into the visual aids, such as timelines, charts, graphs, that help you analyze and organize your research. These can be very helpful for identifying patterns and developing a clear story structure. Consider your audience also. Keep your audience in mind as you organize and analyze your research. What will be the most interesting or compelling to them? How can you make your documentary accessible and engaging? And then like edit ruthlessly. Not everything you find will be relevant or interesting to your audience. Focus on the information that the characters that are most essential to telling your story effectively. So when it comes to crafting your story, you need to think about a couple of things. First, focus. A clear message or theme helps to focus your documentary and assure that the story is understandable from the storyline to the visuals. It needs to support the central ID. You should focus on that. This can make your documentary more coherent and effectively told to the audience. 
And then the audience engagement. A clear message or theme makes it easier for your audience to engage with your documentary and understand its purpose. This can help to create a deeper connection between you and the film or your audience. And then the impact is greater if you have a clear message or theme. A clear message or theme can also be essential for securing funding or sponsorships for your documentary. It can help to demonstrate the social, cultural or environmental value of your work and make it more appealing to potential investors or donors. You need to think about what that is and how it resonates with the audience. You begin the script with an introduction, sets up the story and introduces the main characters or issues. This should grab the audience attention and establish the tone for the rest of the film. The most memorable, most epic thing you can think about to capture the story and the essentials of it. The main conflict, basically. All stories base something around a desire to change something or to reach a goal. And then there's a lot of problems on the way. That brings us to the narrative arc. You need to think about how you can build tension and conflict and to create a climax and provide a resolution in the end. And you do that by keeping the goal in mind. Like what are you trying to achieve? And then you put stuff <laughs> to hinder that so it becomes dramatic. And that's how you essentially tell a story. You have a goal. You go out and you try to achieve it. There's a lot of problems on the way that you gotta overcome. And once you reach that goal, you change forever as a character. And then, you know, there's a, a change uh, in how they behave. And then you come to an enlightenment as the audience experiences this and the character as well. In The Pearl of Africa, which is a film that I sold to Netflix, I told the story of Cleopatra Kambugu, a transgender woman in Uganda. It explored her journey as she fights for her right to acceptance in a society that's hostile towards people who are different. And the film, it, it didn't start this way, but it ended up being a clear narrative arc. But it was really built around like, how can we do that by simplifying the story? We're going all over the place filming many times like most people do when they make a documentary. But in the end, like we came in, we looked at the story, what we have, what, all the scenes we had, and then we decided to simplify it into one journey, one story of going with Cleo on this one big journey throughout the film. That was not how it happened in real life. You need to simplify it so that it becomes easier for the audience to be engaged in the story. Essentially, that's what storytelling is trying to simplify real life. So here are some key takeaways to write the perfect script for a documentary. Start with the introduction that grabs the audience attention and sets the tone of your film. Provide background information on the subject matter to contextualize your story. Introduce your characters and provide their background information through interviews with them or relevant sources or to just see them in the real life. Develop a narrative arc that builds tension, conflict and climax while it keeps the core message or theme in mind. Edit and refine your script to ensure clarity and narrative flow. You need to seek out different perspectives when getting feedback, including experts and those unfamiliar with the subject matter. Be open to criticism. Evaluate the feedback and test changes to see if they're effective. But stay true to your story. You need to be flexible and open to change when necessary, but trust your instincts as a filmmaker to make the right decisions. Writing a script is not an easy task, but with time, patience and practice, anyone can learn how to do it. On uh, learndocumentary.com, I help people fix their story. That doesn't work. Whether you're a beginner or not in selling films to networks, I can help you. If you have a passion for storytelling and have been inspired by documentaries, then I encourage you to start writing your own scripts and sharing your work with the world. Whether you want to explore social issues or highlight human stories or promote change, documentaries are a powerful medium to tell stories that matter. So just start, just write and see where it takes you. But if you need more help, check out this video that is about script writing as well, if you're not ready to get going just yet.